NMCI has three undergraduate maritime degree programs that also lead to internationally recognized professional maritime qualifications or certificates of competency under the International Maritime Organization's Convention on Standards of Training, Certification and Watchkeeping for Seafarers. These qualifications are globally recognized and they are a professional license to work on board seagoing ships worldwide. The three undergraduate programs offered at NMCI are a Bachelor of Science in Nautical Science. This is a level seven program with CAO code CR094 and is for those students who wish to study to become ship's navigating officers and ultimately to become a ship's captain. Bachelor of Engineering in Marine Engineering. This is a level seven program with CAO code CR095 and is for those students who wish to study to become ship's engineering officers and ultimately a ship's chief engineer. The Bachelor of Engineering in Marine Electrotechnology is also a level seven program and has CAO code CR805. This program is for students who wish to work on ships and in the maritime sector in communications, information communications technology, cybersecurity, and so on. All three of these programs also prepare students to secure their professional certificate of competency, their maritime license to work on seagoing ships under the International Maritime Organization's STCW Convention. The BSc in Nautical Science also has a follow-on one-year level eight BSc Honours program in Nautical Science. The career really is one today of two phases. So this is where you will start a by spending a period of somewhere between eight and perhaps 12 years working on seagoing ships. These programs basically provide you with the foundation for your longer term career in terms of coming ashore later in your life into you know, middle senior management and leadership roles ashore. And in the short term provides you with your professional qualification to have those years uh, working on ships first, which gives you the necessary experience to follow career pathways into shoreside deployment later on. In terms of entry requirements to the programs, there are a number of specialist requirements because of the seagoing nature of the career. This includes a medical and an eyesight test, both of which you have to pass. And there are also some other additional requirements which are explained in the CIT MTU handbook. The CAO requirements for all three of our undergraduate maritime programs are five subjects at ordinary six or higher seven. You must have maths at ordinary six and higher seven, and you must either have English or Irish. Helpful leaving cert subjects include maths, physics, engineering, and English. All three of the programs are a wonderful blend of theory and practice. The students will acquire all of the theoretical understanding and practical know-how you need to be effective and safe navigators, marine engineers, and marine electrotechnical officers on today's high-tech seagoing ships. It also prepares you for a later shoreside career. All of the programs involve a compulsory work placement element. This is required by the STCW Convention. This is the international regulatory requirement for your professional ships license. The BSc Nautical Science program, you must complete between 12 and 15 months at sea on a seagoing vessel. For the marine engineering and the marine electrotechnology degree, you must complete between nine and 12 months.